Hello, my name is Kevin Mercado. I am the lead educator for Bronx Works. I am presenting the Stellar Farmers Market Curriculum for the Nutrition Education Capacity Program. For today's presentation, it will be on freezing fruits and vegetables at home. The advantages of freezing. Many foods can be frozen. It's easy to do, not time consuming. Foods can be frozen in any quantity. Retention of color, flavor, nutritive value, and texture. Now, how can you defrost and cook your food? One suggestion is blanching your vegetables. So, it is not good to microwave blanch. It's not recommended. It's uneven heating. It won't inactivate all enzymes. Improper blanching will affect quality. So when you're microwaving your vegetables after taking them out of the freezer, it will be very rubbery when you finish defrosting the vegetables. It just won't taste good. So it's not recommended to microwave blanch your vegetables. So how freezing affects food? Rancicity, meat, fish, poultry, which means it makes your your produce lasts longer so you freeze it so just in case if you can't cook it that week that you purchase it just freeze it until you're able to cook it textural changes water freezes and expands ice crystals cause cell walls to rupture produce with high water content does not freeze well like celery lettuce tomatoes melons as you can see in the picture, the tomato, it looks like it exploded or it was squished. That usually what happens when you defrost the, the fruit or vegetable. It'll just end up looking like it'll, it melted or it was crushed. So it's not, it's not recommended to freeze those types of fruits or vegetables. What is blanching? Blanching prevents flavor and color changes. Inactivates enzymes removes microorganisms, required blanching times. The link underneath required blanching times will show you the required times for different vegetables. Um, each different vegetable just depends on how long you'll leave it for. It could be three to five minutes depending on the type of vegetable that it is. Under blanching stimulates enzymes worse than no blanching. Well, basically, under blanching means that the the vegetable wasn't ready. You did it. You you took the vegetable before it was ready to be taken out of the boiling water. And over blanching means that the pro the vegetable was cooked or overcooked, since you're you're supposed to have it at a certain temperature at a certain time, which will make the the vegetable be perfect for eating. So there is a possibility that you can over blanch your vegetable. And you'll you'll get a better understanding once you do uh, blanch your vegetables. When the vegetable is over, bl over blanched, that means that the vegetable is basically cooked. You still want the vegetable to be a little bit crunchy. Um, you don't want your vegetable to be soggy. Usually if you overcook it, it becomes soggy and it doesn't really taste good. So how do you blanch vegetables? First, you need to boil water. One gallon of water equivalent to one pound of vegetables. Timing. So once your water starts boiling, that's when you put the vegetable inside of the water. And then you have to wait until the vegetable water starts boiling again and then that's when you take out the vegetables. Getting started for best quality, optimum maturity and freshness, mature or overripe equals lower quality, wash and drain first, do not soak. Do not use galavines, copper or iron equipment with fruits. Control enzymes, enzymes and vegetables blanching, quick heat and quick cool. Enzymes in fruits, ascorbic acid, 
commercial mixtures, citric acid, lemon juice. After blanching, cool quickly and thoroughly. Plunge basket into cold water, cold running water, ice cold water. Cooling time equals blanching time. Lastly, drain thoroughly. So now that you know what blanching is, now let's talk about fruits. Preventing fruit darkening, sweetened option, syrup pack. Percent sugar to water depends upon sweetness desired. Sugar pack. Sprinkle sugar over fruit. Allow mixture to stand to make syrup before packaging. Unsweetened packs for fruit. Dry or tray pack. Spread on trays to freeze until firm. Pack into containers and freeze. Will pour out of container easily. Retain shapes. Enzymes naturally present in foods. Small proteins that promote chemical reactions. Activity can lead to deterioration of food quality. Freezing allows enzyme activity. Stop enzymatic activity before freezing. Sugar substitutes. Added to pectin syrup, juice or water packs. Added just before serving. These do not help with color, retention or texture like sugar does. Use amounts on product labels or to taste. Lastly, however, does not destroy spoilage organisms, does not destroy Clostridium botulinum, only inactivates organisms rapidly freeze, maintain under or equal to zero Fahrenheit. Important to keep workspace clean, thaw in refrigerator. Remember to stop by from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m every Thursday to shop locally and get your fresh fruits and vegetables so you can make these healthy recipes at home. When you stop by, remember to go to the outreach table so that you can watch these virtual videos and receive health bucks so that you can use it at the farm stand. We accept cash, debit, credit, FMNP coupons, health bucks, and EBT or SNAP as well. If you haven't already seen the cooking recipe videos, check them out and remember to like and comment below. Hope you join us next time. Bye.